This is my pet turtle. Uh, his name is Jenkins, by the way. And Jenkins is here to teach you and I a lot about living a life governed by wisdom. Now, Jenkins does most of his teaching just through being. So I'm going to be a little bit of a translator and share with you through words some of the insights on living with wisdom that Jenkins has taught me. Uh, first off, if you look at Jenkins, uh, here he is, uh, the soft turtle. Hmm. Uh, and he's got his hard shell around him. So uh, uh, you and I can consider, based on the doctrine of Jenkins, what is our hard shell? What does our hard shell do for us? And then Jenkins also wants to ask you, what does your hard shell do against you? Well, as you and I are the turtles that we are, we realize just like Jenkins, our hard, sorry Jenkins, he gets a little irritated when I tap on his shell too hard. Uh, just like Jenkins, the hard shell is meant for protection. It's meant for self-preservation. Thank God it's there. Thank God the turtle has its shell. And thank God you and I, the metaphoric turtles, have our shell. How we can become defended, how we close off. And then Jenkins teaches us, well, what is it we're closing off? Well, you'll see Jenkins, he'll occasionally put his head out, stick his legs out. But what he always has inside of his shell, so he can teach you and I about ourselves, is he's always got his heart inside the hard shell, simply to protect his heart. Wow. So, good. Uh, that self-preservation of the hard shell is very important. And then what's the shadow side of the hard shell, Jenkins? Well, what Jenkins is teaching me through his hypnotic eye contact with me is the very shell that saves the turtle can be the shell that ends up killing his turtle. I mean, Jenkins is a wise cat, as you know. I don't know why I call him a cat. He's a turtle, but I think calling him a cat makes him sound as cool as he actually is. So Jenkins knows just how big to have his shell. It's big enough, yet it's not so big that it consumes him. What happens if you and I keep building our hard shells up? We cover our hearts with deeper and deeper and deeper layers of hardness, defendedness, closing off our emotions, reactive attitudes, disconnecting emotionally, avoiding intimacy. Hmm. Well, Jenkins has taught me if we do that, our shells can become so big that they consume us. And if you imagine Jenkins, if his shell was bigger, how would he eat? How would he have any ability to get nourishment, sunlight, food, water, let alone connect with other wise turtles? So what Jenkins has taught me how to recognize is how a lot of people, I'll blame this on people and pretend like I haven't done this a million times in my life. You okay if I pretend to do that, Jenkins? He says it's okay to pretend sometimes. So there I go, there you and I might go, completely closed off. We are consumed by the shell, the shell that we created and calcified to save us and protect us becomes the shell that's diminishing us. It's hurting us. It's killing us. It's robbing life from us. We can't get the nourishment that we need through connecting our hearts uh, with other people, let alone connecting our hearts with ourselves. Well, that's pretty important, I'd say, eh, Jenkins? So if we don't watch our shells, they'll cal calcify so big that they become our coffin. What else Jenkins teaches us is the wisest ones 
not only know how to have a shell that's just big enough but not too big, but Jenkins has taught me the wise turtles will also crawl out from within their shell. And if you imagine if Jenkins crawled out from in his shell, he's very soft. He's very vulnerable. Yet he's much more open to life. Uh, and Jenkins has taught me the meaning of life is found and the wisdom of life is experienced. And the wisdom of life supports us when we crawl out from our shell. Ah. Uh, and Jenkins has also taught me what will motivate us to crawl out from our shell is once we experience enough starvation of our heart, which is living inside of our shell, that we have no choice but to say, the shell that I created for self-preservation, I have to become willing to scare myself to death to actually live. And Jenkins has taught me, the wise turtle, that actually living means I aim my life for self-realization, not self-preservation. The shell is self-preservation, crawling out from the shell, being soft, being vulnerable, being delicate, being tender, is living a life of self-realization. And of course, keep the shell around, run back inside of it once in a while when we need to, but not more than we need to. Well, that's pretty interesting. So Jenkins, are you telling me that to live a life of wisdom, uh, that the tool we need to crawl out from our hard shell is first off awareness of what our shell is, awareness of how big it is, and two, a willingness to experience the terror of the blessing of becoming the vulnerable, soft turtle? Jenkins confirms that. Turtles don't lie, as the saying goes. And we, we realize when Jenkins crawls out from his shell, I mean, sorry about that, buddy, he's soft. It's not good for self-preservation for the soft, vulnerable turtle to be there. He's open. Oh, he's mushy. Anything could penetrate his heart and kill him. But if he is willing to be scared to death in the name of living, being the wise turtle, living with a vulnerable heart, then he says, self-preservation is no longer what runs my life. Self-realization is. And Jenkins also says, if you choose to live a life aimed primarily at self-preservation, where you dedicate your life force energy to creating a shell, and then a shell around that shell, and then more shell on that shell, then Jenkins says, just be aware of the consequences. At most, you'll be living in your head, never from your heart. And if you consider the uh, research that suggests the electromagnetic field of our heart is 5,000 times greater than the electromagnetic field of our head. Does that mean if we become the wise turtle, vulnerable outside of our shell, our life has 5,000 times the significance? Not necessarily compared to other people, but compared to how we experience ourselves. The heart field is expansive if we take the shell off that contracts it. Thank you for joining my pet turtle Jenkins and I. Uh, I hope these insights and considerations can help you on your quest to be the wise turtle in your life.